So everybody is posting reactions to the Ghostbusters trailer that just dropped this week, so I thought, eh, whatever, I'll jump in on the conversation and add some of my thoughts. For starters, still very excited about this, especially because of the cast, Leslie Jones, Kristen Wiig, um, Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones, uh, Melissa McCarthy, um, who, of course, worked with the director, Paul Feig, on um, Spy, as well as Bridesmaids, which was a hilarious film. So the combination of people has me excited, but I gotta say, the studio behind this has me a little bit worried in that there was a film put out by Sony Pictures recently set in New York featuring a team of people wearing costumes like the Ghostbusters using weapons like the Ghostbusters to take down ethereal mischief makers like ghosts and that movie was Pixels and Pixels was terribly reviewed so if the studio has their hands in this in the same way that they did Pixels, though, I mean, that was a different comedic team entirely. That was Adam Sandler and Happy Gilmore Productions. This is Paul Feig and a different time team entirely. But if the studio has, you know, had their say on this in the same way that they had their say with Pixels, uh, I am a little bit trepidatious there. Um, and one of the things that uh, was apparent from this trailer and, and that could be as a result of marketing manipulation. I mean, this is the marketing team who created the trailer, not the team who made the movie. you got to keep that in mind. So when I say that the tone is different, it could be that the tone of the movie is different than the trailer. Um, but it didn't quite sit right with me. And what also didn't sit right with me is that it seems like we've got this great new cast of characters and actors but they're almost being plunked into the exact same roles that we had in the original. This time around, we've got characters Aaron Gilbert, that's Kristen Wiig. We got, uh, man, why is Leslie Jones so far down on the IMDb page? She's playing Patty Tolan. Kate McKinnon is Jillian Holtzman. Um, yeah. And Melissa McCarthy is Abby Yates. They're all names that sound like female Ghostbuster names, and that all the Ghostbusters' names were so unique. Um, but it, that's the thing, you could have introduced unique new characters to this world rather than just having the female versions. You do need to maintain some things from the original, but with a reboot you have opportunity to do so much more and it seems like it just hasn't happened. My wife just got home, so I should probably wrap up my thoughts on this. Let me just see if I got one or two more. Um, it's nice to see Slimer in there. I want to see more done with Chris Hemsworth. I just, I feel like the tone of the trailer just wasn't quite right, but there was an awesome fan recut, um, which I will link here. Um, you should watch that, because that, that made me way more excited. And it was all footage from the same movie. It's just cut differently, and it makes me, I don't know, feel better about it. I don't know how. So Zara said the exact same thing to me last night, and it turns out she was she was right, and she's watching me finish up this video. So I'm going to go now. Uh, I'm sure the movie will be good, and I think she's confident that it will be too. She's doing a weird showing her hand thing. Okay, the <laughs> okay, end. I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone this time. I'll leave there. <laughs>